As part of a normal, let's say, NASA ISS mission, the crew can pick what they call CEO, Crew Earth Observation Targets, basically a fancy way of saying taking a picture from space, so places that are meaningful to them. I decided that I would offer my allocation to the uh, employees of Active Space. We did kind of a contest, and hopefully I'll get to take some neat pictures from up there. My name is Tony Saldana, and what I do here at Axiom Space is I work on the life support system, and I am an engineering designer. So I'm Andrew Brown. Uh, I am the technical lead for uh, WADA, the Water Accumulation and Treatment Assembly. My name is Marcela Villalobos. I am a graphic designer here at Axiom Space. The photo location that I've submitted for is called Estero de Jaltepeque. And so what inspired me to do this is I wanna, I wanna show the world our Pulgarcito, that's how we call it. And Pulgarcito means like the tiniest country. How are you doing? Good, how are nice you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. You ready? Yep. This is sort of the wide shot. Oh my God. Do you recognize it, like exactly where you were That's it. here? Really? Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, any thoughts? That's nice. It's beautiful. Yeah. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'm, I'm glad this is it for you. Yeah. My dad passed away almost like a year ago. Oh, I'm sorry. And so this is very sentimental for me. Oh my God. He used to love this place. Like really, it was his place. I hope you find a nice place in your house for to hang this. Yeah, I will. So my photo location was Granger Peak, just to the east of Salt Lake City. All around beautiful location and really just has a lot to do with my personal development. It was just a very meditative place physically and mentally for me. How are you doing? Good, sir. How are you? Very well, thanks. So tell me a little background here about this peak. This one in particular was one of the most difficult peaks. Like, are you running on something paved, or is it just a trail? All mountain, but it's mostly a barren uh, kind of face, so you get a view of all of the Wasatch Front and then pretty much all of Salt Lake City. It was a clear day, and the city was pretty easy to pick out. I always try to go north uh, out, but it is north up in this Let's take a look at this artifact here. I honestly didn't even think about the winter weather when I initially submitted this, so to see it broken up like this is pretty fantastic. All right, well thanks, Andrew. The photo location I submitted is in Monterey, Mexico. It's part of my roots of where my father grew up. My dad came over here to the United States as an immigrant and started his own business at the age of 17 and uh, worked his way up. Hola, Don Alegria. You're Tony. I'm Tony. How are you doing, sir? Encantado. Really, really well. How are you? I'm doing fantastic, thank you. I'm curious about the story behind your submission. My dad was born there. Okay. So my 95-year-old aunt that still lives in the house. The whole family would pack in an old 60, I think it was like a 64 Impala and drive over there. Nice. <laughs> No air conditioning. So the illumination over Mexico and Central U.S. got better and better as the mission went on. But I think I found it. Awesome. So let's take a look. So the first picture you'll see is zoomed out. That's like the whole city, right? Oh, wow. Uh... Uh, I really enjoy it a lot, so. Well, thanks for what you do. Thank you, sir. It's, it's incredible. Uh, I'm just very thankful to be able to be a part of it. It's like, well, it, it, like I say, it's surreal. To know that Axiom Space and MLA and everyone else involved is putting in so much work just to go and take this, this photo really does put into perspective how awesome of an opportunity this is. So thank you. Thanks, Axiom Space, for this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Well,